Hello everyone, welcome to the product slider pro plugin video tutorial. There are three themes available to showcase your products. The plugin features are not theme based and they can be applied to any of the themes. Let's have a look at the theme designs along with the different features. Let me give you a quick overview of all the plugin features and then I will show you how you can create a product slider in real quick. So without further any delay, let's get started. Once you have installed and activated the plugin in your WordPress dashboard, you will see a menu called Product Slider. When you click on it, it will take you to this page. Here you will find all the shortcodes you have created using the Product Slider Pro plugin listed in one place. For each slider, you will find a title, a shortcode and the date it was published. If you want to make a copy of any slider, simply click on the duplicate button. Now let's move on to the all important Add New Slider. When you click on it, it will take you to this page. Here you will get all the features required to create your product slider. First type a title for your product slider. Below that you will find several tabs. Initially you will be in the general settings. Here slider type is selected as product and layout preset is selected as slider. Select a theme from three different theme styles to display your products. For all the themes you will find correspondent settings in the display options. Now let's have a look at the theme 2 design in the most unique feature, Live Preview. I am talking about this Live Preview button, by which you can have a look at your customizations at the Live Preview section before publishing the shortcut to a new web page. When you click on it, it will take you to the Live Preview section. So this is how theme 2 looks like. Select an option to filter the products. There are two filter options you can select and they are latest and featured. Select featured filter to display all the featured product in the slider. As you can see I have only four featured products and they are showing in the slider. Check the box if you want to hide the out of stock products from the slider. Set product slider columns for responsive devices and set how many products you want to display in the slider. Order the products by ID, date, random title or modified. You can order them by ascending or descending order as well. Enable or disable the preloader as you like. Now let's move on to the slider controls. Here slider mode is selected as standard. Enable or disable the autoplay and configure the autoplay speed slider speed as you like. Enable or disable the pause on hover and infinite loop and set the slider direction right to left or left to right according to your website direction. Show head the navigation and configure the navigation color from here. Same for the paginations. You can show or hide it and change the pagination dots color and pagination dots active color from here. Enable or disable the sweep or mouse draggable from here. Now let's move on to the display options. Show or hide the slider section title from here. Show or hide the product name. And you can also show or hide the product price and change the discount color as you want. Show or hide the rating stars and change the rating star color as you like and finally show or hide that to cut button and change the add to cut button color, hover color, background color, hover background color and the border. Now let's move on to the image settings. You can show or hide the product image as you like. Select an image size from several options. Image mode is set as normal and finally in the typography settings you can change the slider section title, product name, product price, font color. So if I change the product name font to this color and update the preview, you can see product name font color has been changed. So let's publish the shortcode and copy the shortcode from here and go to a page where you want to display it. Insert the shortcode in a text code or shortcode block and publish it and view the page. As you can see this is the product slider preview. Now let's move on to the settings menu. In the advanced settings, you will find all the options to enable or disable the CSS and JS used in the plugin to run it smoothly. Next one is custom CSS. If you want to modify the plugin default styling, then write the custom CSS here. And finally, let's move on to the tools menu. Using the tools menu, you can export and import all the slider you have created using the plugin. So that's all about the product slider plugin today. In the upcoming videos, I will show you how you can use all those features in the plugin to make your product slider view even more attractive. Until then take care.